Welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is episode 675. Uh, Hello, today everyone. we're going to welcome, welcome Lulu Araju, a personal chef and food trailer operator from Akron via Brazil. Uh, today we're going to we'll get to her in just a minute. Araju, uh, before you, um, I guess before we get started, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow Brazil, me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. It's Dr. Kavitko and Associates. Now, all videos, all shows, all past episodes are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Now, and I'm not able to figure out Facebook videos, today, so I'm sorry about that. I'm not able to make Facebook work. If anybody knows how to make the post not able part to come up, you know, all the time, that'd be awesome. Because when you go, I go to my page sometimes, it's there, sometimes it's not. It's really crazy. I want to remind everybody that we're going to give away free flowers from DeSantis Florist in about 10 minutes. The number to call 614-459-9769. 614-459-9769. All right, folks, so I mentioned a week or two ago that my wife and I had just launched an Airbnb. It's called the Mad Cat Inn, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. And one of the things we like about it is that we're meeting a lot of people. And so one of the folks that we met was Lulu. Uh, and her family. And so, uh, Lulu, um, tell me again how to say your full name, or how would you like us to say your name? Oh, Lulu Araujo. Okay, and you have an accent. You are from Brazil, correct? Correct. Okay. It's really cool to get to meet people from around the country, but also people who have spent time in other countries. I think I find that specific special. So let me ask you, what brought you to Columbus? Columbus? Well, my boyfriend and I, my daughter and my friend, uh, want to just a little get away, you know. And I was shopping around to find the, uh, the best place to go, and we found you. And that's what brought us there. <laughs> okay, so that's what brought you here. That's really great. Well, we're glad you found us because uh, we enjoyed getting to meet you and your family. And uh, you said you had Thank a good you. time? Oh, we had a great time. Awesome. Very, very beautiful place and great, the greatest hostess. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest hosts, huh? Well, that's cool. That's <laughs> cool to hear. So now you have a food truck. It's called Brazil Land. No, Brazil Land. So it's B R A Z I L. Brazil, yeah. Yeah, Brazil Land is, and they have a dash that is for Brazil, you know. Okay so, dash okay, so B-R-A-Z-I-L dash L-A-N-D. Correct. Okay. So if you're looking to find out a little bit more about Lulu's food business, you look up Brazil hyphen land. Is it dot com? On a, no, on the Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Facebook, yes. And I do also catering, and that's the time that I do mostly like in the winter, but... I'm not limited at any time, like throughout the summer, do catering as well, you know. Yeah. Because of being like a, on the winter, like with a food show, uh, trailer, it's kind of hard to um, to be outside. Right, people don't want to stand outside in line, even though the food's awesome, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, how long have you had the food trailer? This is my fourth year. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what made you want to do that? I mean, what were you doing before? Let me back up. What were you doing before you had the food food trailer? Um, I work I worked for Goya Food for seven years prior. Um, and that's what I used to do. But I did both before, until last year I was doing both. Which foods and, did you um, work for? Which foods? Uh, Goya Food. Mm-hmm. I, I, I work as a vendor 
like a video now, a, a sales rep. Okay. All right. You know, uh, a Latino uh, line of uh, food, like you can buy a grocery stores and such. Oh, what did you do for them? I was a sales representative. Okay. So Men you... So meaning people who wanted to buy the, their products, you had accounts that you would service? Yeah, so I would go like different, uh, like Walmart, Giant Eagles, and I had many of them as my customers. Oh, I see. Wow. Wow. That's yeah. a big deal. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good job. <laughs> so but now, I, lo I love food things, so that's, that's what I love to do. Okay, so you prefer cooking the food and seeing the joy on people's faces rather than just selling people products? Oh, most definitely. This is definitely the biggest pay, you know, of uh, to me anyways, because cooking, cooking, I, I would always have to be my passion since I was a little girl, you know, be in the kitchen with my mom or my grandma and cooking. So I always really had uh, the dream of having something to do with uh, with food and creating new recipes, you know, because to me that was always like something that I find it fascinating, like, and just uh, have the freedom of create, creating a new, new dish. Wow. So it seems to me like when you're creating a new recipe, it's a little tricky because you actually have to write everything down and you might make start to make something and taste it and go, oh, it needs a little more of this or a little more of that. So then you have to write down how much more you put in there, right? Oh, uh, you see, that's kind of funny how I cook. I learned cooking with my dear mother who was an Indian. So we never like measure anything. <laughs> so even when I cook, yeah, we use like a, it's a hand, uh, a cup of, uh, like a handful would be a cup, pinch to pinch, you know, use your fingers as, as a measurement. And that's how I always have been cooking my life. So I normally don't even write down my recipes and memorize all of them. I don't know how, but I do. Oh and I'm my not, goodness. I don't have a good, yeah, I don't have a good memory for nothing else, but my food I do. <laughs> so even when you've had to adjust it like a little more salt, for example, you remember the new amount. Yeah, I remember. Wow, that's really neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just have to hope you don't hope you don't get Alzheimer's someday, right? Or all your recipes are gone. <laughs> that would be. That would, that, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Well, I hope not yeah. too. So, what are your specialty dishes? My specialty? Oh my goodness! All right. So on my food trail, like I say, I have like all my uh, everything is my recipe, all my version of a certain food. For example, I have my own version of a burrito, you know, and I call it springy burrito, and uh, it it comes with my cilantro rice and my sweet pepper chicken, and I also make a special sauce that uh, is a garlic mint sauce. So uh, uh, as a sour cream based sauce is really delicious and goes on it, and my corn and black eyed peas salsa, all of those are different recipes separately, and I just put it together, make it my burrito, and it's absolutely amazing, as far as like in my reviews, like on, uh, on Facebook, I never got less than five stars, people really love that, oh, wow. so that's my big, yeah, also my empanadas, my empanadas is a big hit, like <laughs> I cannot make it uh, fast enough. Because <laughs> I make my my home dough as well, and I use the broth that I cook my chicken to oh. make my dough, so my dough has flavor. Oh wow, it's really good. Oh, that's really yeah. Good. So, um, folks, I want to tell you, I know personally that her food is awesome because she was kind enough to, as uh, she was staying at our Airbnb, and she cooked a big dinner for her family. She brought over a big plate of food for my wife and I, more food than I thought we'd be yeah. able to eat. <laughs> And everything was awesome. <laughs> everything was great. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. And no, I was so full. I thought, there's no way I'm going to eat this. But then once I started eating it, I couldn't stop eating it because it tasted so good. So then I was like, remember I sent you a text, I'm stuffed? Yeah. <laughs> I stayed stuffed for about two hours. <laughs> I hear that a lot, believe it or not. Like someone, like, I'm not very hungry, but then they start to be like, but I can't stop because it's so good. <laughs> right. Yeah. That was just really, that was really awesome. So, um, oh, I'm <laughs> so now, are you available for hire to cater down in Columbus? I know you're based in Akron. Oh, yes, I definitely would. Yeah. Okay. Definitely do experience anywhere, as long as, you know what I mean, as long as I have the, I uh, like you, whoever I talk to, you know, have like all the details, it's no problem for me to drive down to Columbus at right. all. Right, 
Right. And yeah. so basically what it needs to be is a large enough event, like a, like a rehearsal dinner or some kind of a, a meeting that has enough people so that it makes you worth yeah. your while. Right. Hey, yes. Uh, I also do private, like private parties. <laughs> like uh, for example, I, I had a catering and uh, around the Christmas time last year where I did went to cook uh, for, for a couple. You know, they, uh, he want to have a romantic dinner for oh. him and his wife. Yes. So I went as a private chef and I cooked for them their dinner. And I can I do that as well. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah, and it's fun. <laughs> that sounds interesting. So I'm going to, earlier you gave me your email address, and I'm going to read that now so that people know, because if somebody's thinking about a romantic dinner, maybe for Feb, uh, for February 14th, right, Valentine's Day? Let me go ahead and give that yeah. out. It's A L U C I A N E, the number 35 at gmail.com. I'm going to say it again. It's actually a Lucien 35 at gmail.com. But I'll spell it one more time A L U C I A N E 35 at gmail.com. That's how somebody would reach out to you? That's correct. Okay, awesome. Okay. So now, folks, as you know, it's a dental show, and we haven't really talked much about dentistry yet, but when we, um, a little bit later, what we're going to do is we're going to find out what Lulu's experience has been with dental care in the U.S. and how it compares to the dental care she received in Brazil, that sort of thing. So hang with us, because you're going to find out there is a connection. But it looks like it's time for us to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. As you know, we, every week we give people a chance to win flowers from DeSantis Florist. And so I always try to make the question easy, and if you've tuned in at all, you're going to get the answer. So I think what we're going to do is make the question about what brought Lulu to Columbus in the first place. And you might remember the answer is that she came down because she was looking for an Airbnb to spend a little relaxation time with her family, and she found mine. And mine is called the Mad Cat Inn, so just remember that. But before we do the contest, we'd like you to listen to this. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kabitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. (coughs) Kabitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kabitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right, so today we are speaking with Lulu Araju. I I don't say her name all that well, I don't think. She's a personal chef and food trailer operator. What brought Lulu to Columbus and her family to Columbus? A, she came down to have me do some dental work. B, she was catering an event in Columbus. C, she was looking for a relaxing getaway, found my new Airbnb called the Mad Cat Inn, and stayed for three days. All right, the winner's going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this Tuesday afternoon. The number to call is 614 Five nine ninety seven sixty nine. That's six one four four five nine ninety seven sixty nine. So go ahead and call now. You won't believe it though. I wanna hear your mind, and there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said, people don't take the time. Don't take the time. Hi, this is Keith Carlos, former NFL player, actor, and first male winner of America's Next Top Model. I got a question for you. Do you know how many dentists there are between here and Los Angeles? Well, I don't know either, but I fly over every one of them just to see Dr. Kavico on a regular basis. Check out my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on my Instagram page, at Keith Carlos. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most compassionate dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavico. Are you tired of hearing what every business is doing to keep you safe? Well, me too, because they're all saying the same thing. Wearing masks, washing our hands often, and social distancing are the keys to keeping us healthy, and all businesses are doing that. But here at Dr. Kavitko & Associates, we do that and more. We have continuous air and surface pathogen reduction units inside our office that kill over 93% of the coronavirus and other pathogens. Bet you can't name another dental office that does that. Give us a call at 614-262-9588 or go to drkavitko.com. I'm 
Hannah, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavico and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavico for your family's dental care. They're friendly. They're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door. It's clean. It's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavico, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm going to be the healthiest I can be. They've been great. I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavicko's question of the day. We have four callers on the line. So, Lulu, would you pick a number between one and four, okay, we're please? Back. We're doing Dr. Three. Kavicko's Did you say three? Yes. Okay, it line. sounded like a Brazilian version of three <laughs> with a little <laughs> accent. Okay, we're going to go to caller number three. Okay, caller number three is Mary. Hi, Mary. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm well. Thanks for listening. Thanks for calling okay, in. Caller number Do you have the answer to Dr. Kavicko's question Mary, of the day? You? Yes. Airbnb. Well, Airbnb is right. Uh, Mary, what do you do for a living? I'm a real estate agent. Oh, wow. You work 24 hours, 365 days a year, right? Unfortunately, uh, Mary, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, stay on the phone. We want to oh, get information wow. where we can send those flowers to you from uh, DeSantis, okay? Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Well, hey, Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. Today with me is to Lulu. Uh, well, she says okay. it properly. Say it again, Lulu. You're very Araujo. Welcome. Okay. And now you can tell folks why I have no idea how to say that. I don't think my tongue and lips make that motion because I wasn't born in Brazil. <laughs> I don't know how to speak that language. But anyway, so yeah, she's from Brazil. She found us because she came to my Airbnb. My wife's in my Airbnb called the Mad Cat Inn. It's on Airbnb and Verbo, vacation rental by owner. It's a nice getaway, isn't it, Lulu? It was great. We all enjoy ourselves very much. Good, good. And you told me you're going to come back, right? Oh, yeah. We plan on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's not going to be <laughs> Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. So you were born in Brazil. Correct. And how old were you when you moved to the United States? I was 21. That was almost, almost 20 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you were 21. And why did you come to the United States? Well, my ex-husband was from here, and I met him in Brazil. We were dating for like three years prior for me, of me coming this way. And yeah, that's how I ended up here. I was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So how did you meet if he was from the U.S.? He works in Brazil. He worked in Brazil. Oh, okay. For many years. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you met a gentleman who was in Brazil but was from the United States. You guys got married and came to America. Correct. Okay. Do you have any children? I have a daughter, but not is not with from my marriage, no. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And then, uh, so I want to find out: Have you experienced dentistry in both countries? Yes. Okay. So tell me about the dentistry you received up until you were twenty in Brazil. What was it like? In Brazil, Brazil, we had a very good dentist, but uh, even though the is a, I don't know how to explain, like a little bit more poor like in some in some cities and whatnot but uh the dentist is really good like i still have like work that i had done when i was a little girl and still haven't be i haven't needed to be done oh neat you know okay. yeah and, and here like the dentist in, in here is very good as well i um, don't have any complaints okay so now the dentistry that was done there they were kind and they they didn't hurt you no. That's good. No, not at all. That's good. I never liked it because of the sound of it. <laughs> oh, the sound bothered you? Okay. But I think the noise that machine does, I think everybody gets a little bit of a so freaked out about that's it. That's like worldwide. You're absolutely right. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody, no matter what country they're from or I'm speaking to, that told me that they love the sound of that drill, right? Nobody likes it. <laughs> that is really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> And then, did you need a lot of dental care up until age 20? No, not that much. Just the basics, you know, being a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you have your wisdom teeth removed in Brazil? No, actually, I had my wisdom tooth uh, removed here. Okay, okay. I was already in America when I had to take it out. 
Okay, so now once you came to the United States, you had uh, you found a new dentist. You liked them; they were nice to you. They did a good job. But what kind of dental mm -hmm. work have you needed in your life besides, uh, let's say, once you got to the United States? Uh, just a couple feelings uh, here and there, and I had to do a crown just one. One crown. Okay. Yeah. And how did that go? And does it match the rest of your teeth? Yeah, as everything did, it turned out to be good. Okay. Did you have to deal with um, dental insurance in Brazil? And did you have to deal with dental insurance in the U.S.? And if so, how were they different? Yeah, this, uh, there is no insurance in Brazil for, for oh. dental care. Like, uh, like in Brazil, mostly you have to pay in cash, up, you know, or there is like uh, some, uh, some hospitals that provide dentists for, for free. You know, and if you don't have insurance, it just takes uh, it just takes you forever to have an appointment and hours of waiting <laughs> to appointment. But yeah, this is the, uh, there is no insurance in Brazil for for oh, dental care. There's no insurance, okay, for dental care at all. So no. you either had to pay cash or go to a place that would work for free, but it would take forever to be seen. Yeah. Okay. So you like the system mm -hmm. in the U.S. better? Oh, most definitely, yes. And you ask, uh, uh, the whole medical uh, aspect is much better than Brazil. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So I want to go back to your food trailer business. How has the pandemic affected your food business? Uh, it completely affected me uh, way too much, to be honest, because I travel, I do a lot of music festivals. Due to the COVID-19, uh, everything was shut down, you know. Yeah. There is no music festivals. And uh, all the the festivals that I already had scheduled for this for this year season was canceled, so that was like it, like it, you know affect my business in, in a very bad way because mm. I also had to invest money every year and you know on the beginning of the year for the start of the season, and all the investment that I put into the uh, early in the year or towards uh, the season it was lost. Oh boy, oh that's yeah. awful. It is. Because usually I would spend that kind of money like in the beginning of the year, but I make it back like within the first festival or so, and not this time. This time I just lost everything. Mm. Yeah. So when you started to talk about that, I was reminded about, I wanted to ask you back in Brazil, do you have food truck businesses there as well? Oh, no. Like I said, I come to America, I was 21, you know. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't start my business until four years ago, so... Okay. But I, I always enjoyed cook. I always cooked for coming from a big family, so I was always the designated to cook for the family. For <laughs> a designated <one>. cook. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's neat. it was my mother and I always the one cooking for everybody. So that was something that I always wanted to do. But uh, with my food business, I didn't start until after my mother passed away. Because up until the time my mother was still alive, I, I, I support my mom financially. So I never really had like the, the extra money to do anything like that. Oh, I so see. She did pass away. Um, she did pass. So I, I have that little bit extra that I would send for every month. And I put it together and I come up with Brazil and that's how it happened. Okay. Now, I'm always the designated driver in my family because I don't drink alcohol. I just don't like it. So you're the designated cook and I'm the designated driver. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's correct. And how has, uh, well, you know what? I think I want to save this to when we come back because I want to get your thoughts. You probably have some relatives in Brazil. I want to find out how Brazil is handling the pandemic, but we'll do that when we come back from the break, okay? Are you able to stay with me? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You can take me as I am. Die just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, cause you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kawiko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Greiger. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? 
It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? Okay, folks, welcome back. I'm here with Lulu. I would say it Arahu, but she says it... Araujo. See how easy she says that? Not hard it is for me to say. But anyway, so yeah, we've been speaking with Lulu, and she was a guest at my wife and mine, our Airbnb called the Mad Cat Inn. Uh, she's very friendly, and you know, given COVID-19 and the fact that uh, we are very concerned about social distancing, we don't really get to meet Everybody that comes to the Airbnb, we communicate through texting and emailing and maybe waving from about 30 feet away. But we have gotten to know a couple of folks who wanted to meet face-to-face -to, -face to thank us. And so we've had those. But uh, Lulu is a lot more outgoing than a lot of people. And we got to meet her and her boyfriend and her, her uh, brother-in-law. And so they enjoyed the hot tub. They enjoyed the fire pit. Even enjoyed the balcony, didn't you? Oh, we loved it. Everything. <laughs> so, so do you have relatives in Brazil still? I do have my sisters, nephews, and you know, uncles and aunts. But yeah, my mom and dad already passed. Right. How mm. how has uh, Brazil been handling the pandemic? What have your What has your sister and your nephews been telling you? Well, it's pretty bad. They they still like doing like the um, the same as here. Like if you have to stay in and things like that, so it's not doing too good. Uh, good. My oldest is still have to come back to work. You know, so it's affecting a lot of people everywhere. She's not sure. not able to go back to work. Did you say, or she had to go back to work? Yeah, like my place of work is still shut down. Oh, their work is shut down, so she's out of work. Yeah, and she's not getting paid. No, wow. They get, uh, she doesn't get it. it. Yeah, it's not like Brazil. Brazil is not really like America. People, a lot of people complain about here, but if you don't know. <laughs> you don't know when you, until you know. Brazil is different. All the countries are much more different. So we don't know, know how good we have, we have it, is what you're saying. Yeah, we have good here in America. Good, good here in America. America. Yeah, because my understanding is people who get COVID-19 and are employed they still get paid through a fund that has been set up. And I'm not sure if it's the state of Ohio or the national government, but they get 80 hours or two weeks worth of pay just for contracting COVID-19. They don't have to have contracted it at work. They just have to have it. So isn't that, isn't that interesting? Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, it's only two weeks, but it's better than nothing, right? Right. <laughs> and I think the reality is, is the hope is, is that after they get better, and they're no longer able to infect someone else, they can come back to work. Right. So, Lou, mm. it's been really nice getting to know you, and I know you said you're going to come back, so we'll get to visit again at some point maybe next year, but let's tell people again about how they can find out about your food truck business. It is called, it's a Facebook, so they go to Facebook forward slash Brazil hyphen land, and they will find you, correct? Right. It's a blue food trailer, so the picture you will see is right, you know, a blue food a blue trailer. Food okay, yeah. so if you don't see a blue one, you're in the wrong site, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then if somebody wants to send you an email, maybe hiring you to be their chef for a romantic dinner or something like that, they would send the email to, yeah. you go ahead and say it, and then I'm going to say it in English. <laughs> go ahead. Um, you can uh, you can uh, email or uh, or message me on Facebook or Brazil and uh, Brazil-Wend. You can send me a message or you can send me an email on A-L-U-C-I-A-N-E at gmail.com. Did you forget the 35? I did forget, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it again. A-L-U-C-I-A-N-E 35 at gmail.com. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay. I got you covered there. I got you covered. Got your back. Thank you, Doc. <laughs> so you're you're very welcome. You know what? Just uh, kind of hang in there, and it sounds like you're you have great recipes. So you're going to be successful. You just have to persevere, right? 
I hope so. <laughs> okay, well, you have a great day, Lulu. Thank you so much for everything. You too, Doc. Thank you very much for having us. You're very welcome. Goodbye. Well, that's all the time we have today. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at Dr. Kvitko. Please visit my office Facebook page and like us. It's Dr. Kvitko and Associates. Remember that all past episodes, complete with video, well, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be Twitter, sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite Facebook station. Like Goodbye. Us, This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588. Or send an email to speaking. Please call 614 262 9588. That's 614 262 9588. Or send an email to speaking.